See what else we can find around here. Hello. I think what keeps us going is that we're involved in an act of creation. Creation relieves the burden of ego, and death is all about ego. That's why Alex... It's kind of nice to just leave the moment the uh, dialogue ends. It's, it, it kind of fits in a, ni not in a neat way. And what if my soul is heavier than a feather? Who is Anubis to judge me? Is there anything stashed? Oh, this is the weird... That's the kind of complicated geometry that might be indic indicative of some sort of secret passage to a star. For now, we'll check the chamber itself, which contains only connectors. Okay. Static Vexer. You lied to me. Oh, right. I, f I, gotta, I gotta remind myself. These symbols only indicate unlockable... They only, they only indicate unlockable uh, equipment, so a, a jammer could be in any of the... Uh, any of the puzzles, regardless. So that's, this is gonna open when I solve the puzzle. Jammer's keeping this door open. There's another jammer behind this one. We have two connectors and a jammer immediately. It should be easy to get to that one, probably. There's a way to connect it from behind. Oh yeah. Uh. Yeah. This first step should be easy. Connect accordingly. So I'm setting it up so that it's going to connect these things, because this door is about to close when I do this. But, because of the grating, I should be able to... Oh, no, I can't. You cannot... You cannot destroy a barrier through a grating. Oh, maybe through this window, actually. There we go. So now that's self... That's now self-sustaining. Oh, I should have... Can I get in line of sight for the... No, oh, it's all... It's behind a grate. Okay. Well, this jammer's mine. That's good. That means I can jam this spot. I can use, which means I can use this to jam this from behind. Which means I can take all of these components of the puzzle. Did not did not actually mean to block that, but that, that's fine. Now everything's inside the puzzle. I don't see a reason to stay out here, probably. So it, it should be okay that I'm doing this. Locking myself in, although... Frankly, I could just re-jam it anyway. Alright, new goal. What's that? Oh no, it's my least favorite part of the entire game of Talos Principle. This, the thing that kills you when it gets near you. If it just teleported you back to an earlier part of the puzzle or something, just as a security measure, I'd be more cool with that. I don't like the fact that it kills you, because that means you go backwards, and that's a bummer. Okay, so... Yeah, I don't, I don't like the fact that they kill you just because it's frustrating to die like that. So... If I interpret this correctly, I think that I'm gonna try not to open up that one that one issue back there so these jammers are both in my way right now that's solvable though just gotta relocate a bit because of their infinite distance I'm gonna try not to open this gate for a while is there a reason to oh yeah it looks like that's the way through okay I'll have to try to trap it then let's see I'm going to connect to that and that and that which I believe will is that gonna open the gate? What does it, what does it do? Does it just um, does it just unblock this jammer? It, it okay. So it does not open the gate as a shortcut for lasers, but it does un unclog that jammer, which could be handy. Let's see. I'm gonna ke I'm gonna keep it jammed for a moment. I'm gonna see if I can relocate this in a better position where the laser thing, where the uh, the uh, yeah. Trying to get into a position there. Ah, uh, this is problematic. Ideally, I'd open this. He'd probably come straight out in a straight line, and in that situation, I'd want to block. I'd want to lock him back here somewhere. Oh, uh, I can probably do that. You're not doing anything right now. Yeah. Okay. So, I'll use you to unblock this one, and we can probably get that drone to come all the way through. Everything's self-sustaining right now. Good. Let's give this a shot. Is he gonna move? Oh, he's not patrolling. That changes things a bit. So then, he, so he's a way of removing one of my jammers from the puzzle, or making me bunny hop them past him at least. Cause he, 
is not patrolling and he blocks my path, so he, a jammer has to be on him for me to survive walking through. Let's see. And my next objective is to jam this. What's currently being jammed by this? Oh, you're, you're jamming the gate itself. Oh, that's not a big deal. Oh! Just locked myself out. Okay. Uh, you, you go ahead and just unblock that for a second. I need you here for a moment. I need to make this self-sustaining a bit, so... Just add this connector, now that we know that it's safe. And not gonna kill me. There we go. That's a little more self-sustaining. We don't have to block that door anymore. Let's jam the evil robot. Nothing's gonna close when I do this? Yeah. Alright. Now I can proceed forward to this gate. What's in here? Another jam location. Which is fine. That just means I have to take this jammer and jam the robot also. Because then I can bunny hop our jammers as we have so many times before. Oh. Let's make damn sure that I'm not in his attack radius when I grab these. Otherwise this will end poorly for me. Yep. We're good. Oh, don't walk into it. Okay, that freaked me out a little bit. Just to make me feel better, I'm gonna take that off. <laughs> And that's the puzzle solved. Eureka! I've done it! Get out of here. Skedaddle, you're knave. But who's gonna do the drum roll now? Oh look, there's food up there. Oh, it's paint. Never mind. I was like, why is there rice? Uh, oh lordy. Found a star. But you need to deal with, uh... That's interesting. Uh, I guess it's not that bad, because I could probably get... Oh. So ideally, I'd get through here with both jammers. Since I don't think I can get- I don't know if I can get through all that without- Oh no, I can just bunny hop the jammers through the entire process, huh? That's not what's stopping me. All I have to do is... Jam. Grab. There we go. Now both jammers are here at the end of the puzzle, and ready to take that dude out. These, uh, these two will be paralyzed. I can grab the star. I just need to find a red laser, which is not part of this puzzle. Which means it comes from outside the puzzle. Which means I probably... Ha... Huh, I probably bring it through that front gate. Probably shine it through this window. Problem is, angle-wise, that would mean having one connector in front of the door. And one connector at the end of this, this, this right angle over here. And I would need a third connector. He oh no, I would never mind. This is a clear line of sight. So I just need to bring my two connectors to the beginning of this chamber then. So that part's easy. Uh, the configuration of objects is easy. Just getting the red laser to shoot into this chamber is going to be what's going to take more time. But that's not such a big deal. Let's check the chamber though. I mean the terminal. Let's show some threads. Uh, what are cats? Nave, I'm sorry if this is another stupid question, but what are cats? They are mentioned a lot in the archive documents, and even in some stories, and I have no idea what they are. Dog, I don't know, but I bet they're awful. 401, LOL! Frankenstein, they were a type of pet, Nave. Small animals that kept people kept as companions or as food. Mr. Mulciber, cats seem to be re uh, represented a bit more than that of our ancestors. One might go so far as to say that they were obsessed with them. What's strange about this is that more than half of the references I can find to the species describe them as arrogant, aloof, and frequently quite destructive. At some point, they were apparently considered funny, cute, and lovable. The cats were considered both foolish and devious, graceful and goofy, a nuisance and a comfort. And for a long time, I was baffled by this contradiction, but I came to believe that our ancestors saw in cats a reflection of the paradoxical nature of their own existence. Garrett. I saw a cat in Elohim's world once. Really? This is not a joke. Kaiju. No way. Let's confirm the cat's existence. The cat is a manifestation of the accumulation of knowledge in the archive, breathed into life by Elohim. It exists. Garrett. I knew it. I knew I wasn't crazy. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I really enjoy the interactions here. And there's good pacing to go back and forth. I don't know. Maybe it'd be good to just binge go through all this stuff, but there's just so many documents. Uh, I think it doesn't hurt to bounce back and forth. So, two more chambers here, and then the big scary chamber in the middle. 
Let's see, just looking around. Are there any laser sources? Oh, there's a red laser source right there. Huh. That might be able to I might be able to bounce that one around, or there might be a better option. Let's see what, what chambers I can see from this doorway. I can see that one in the far distance. I can't see the door to the one over here, I don't think. I can kind of see that one. It's a little iffy on the angle. So the, the, these two purple doors are the prime things that might be able to get me the red laser into this chamber and allow me to proceed. We'll see how that goes. That was static vexer. But for now, we need to solve chambers because it's way easier to get stars after you've solved each chamber. Because otherwise you have to sit there and figure out how to get some stuff to move around in the first place. Alright, so this one is another, another place that will propel you into this test chamber. I wonder if this test chamber can, involves continually jumping in and out of the chamber over and over again. Is there a clear way to leave? It looks like a pit. There must be a fan or a teleporter in there. So, oh, there's a fan way down there, it looks like. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to continue to save that one for last. It seems like it might be the hardest puzzle. And it might be even some sort of cumulative thing. 